Well, one of the new tools that the city of Buffalo announced this year was a GPS map that the public could use to track which streets had been plowed and which ones had not. Now that map was released earlier in November and this lake effect snow was the first really big test for the system, but it crashed sometime between Friday and Saturday. So early on in the storm, Tony decides Nate Benson had some pretty tough questions for Mayor Byron Brown about the failures of this program and he joins us live tonight. So Nate, what did you learn? Yeah, hey there, Scott and Mary Alice. Mayor Byron Brown is not happy with the third party vendor that provided this system. And Council Member Chris Scanlon says that there will be a council inquiry about why this failed. And that's the main question tonight. Why did this service fail? For residents on Dash Street in South Buffalo, it was a frustrating day. We call this area here the Forgotten Triangle, basically from South Park High School to the to the end over here. And Carl Stefaniak would know he's lived there for 25 years. We're like the first ones to get the parking tickets, but we're the last ones to get plowed. At a four o'clock update, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown said, We have made significant progress in South Buffalo. 95% of streets have now had a pass through. They left us a little mountain over here at the end of the street. And According to Carl and another Dash Street resident we spoke to off camera, a private contractor came through there just around noon, started pushing snow down the street, and then left a mini mountain of snow at the end of their block. I don't know if there was a changing of the guard and they didn't quite communicate, but uh, we're kind of trapped on Dash here. This is a second large storm like this in about eight years, so if this is going to continue to be the trend, I think we're going to have to look at augmenting that fleet a little bit. And Buffalo Common Council member Chris Scallion says that's something he wants figured out. Additionally, the failed city plow GPS program is something that he says the council will investigate. I think it's not a shock to me that there'd be some hiccups. I asked Mayor Brown about it. Mayor, Mayor why did the snow plow GPS system fail so quickly into this storm? Again, we are troubleshooting that with the vendor. That is a system that we purchased from a, a vendor. Obviously, we're not happy uh, that there were failures in the system. Um, uh, the system was not reliable for this storm. That's that's the. But criticism on social media highlighted there was a disparity in who had their streets plowed and who didn't that early in the storm, including the streets where city officials lived. And amid that criticism, it was certainly worth asking the question. Did the city pull the system down intentionally? Uh, I'm going to say that's a ridiculous question. The city would never pull a system down intentionally. Uh, there were malfunctions in the system. And listen, people criticize. That's what, that's what they do. And we're used to, to, to criticism. So no, system would never, ever be pulled down. And I really resent a question like that. Now, we really don't know the specifics still of why that system went down, but we're here live on Abbott Road and Dash Street in South Buffalo. And when we came here earlier in the day, this was completely impassable. There was a, a mound of snow next to the mountain of snow and no cars were able to get past it. We tweeted video of that in coincidentally in the last two hours. That road is now clear, Scott and Mary Alice. All right, Nate Benson reporting for us tonight. Nate, thank you.